guys, it's Charlene from the Crafty Art Shack and we're here today because we're going to take our little puzzle pieces we made and we're going to turn them into little food cards for our bowls at 4th of July when we have a table spread and we want to put these out to mark what food we're having. So let's get this show started. Be right back. Alright guys, we're here at the craft table. And we're going to take these puzzle pieces that we made in one of our videos. Take these and we're going to make little place cards for our food. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some card stock. Either I suggest since it's the 4th of July, we're going to use red, white, and blue. Now what I would do is um, we're going to make an accordion style. Not an accordion, a folded uh, place card for the table. So let's make one out of blue. We're going to take a card that is approximately one, two, three, four, five, five inches long, and it is four inches wide. And we're going to fold it in half the, the long, take the long ways and fold it in half. Use your finger tool. Press that down really good. If you have a bone folder, use it. I don't have one. So what we have is that. We have our little card that sits up like that. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay it down flat. And we're gonna take, because this represents our flag and it's blue on this end, we're gonna kind of stick it up here in this corner. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some, some, some <laughs> craft glue. And I want to kind of look and see where it's going to sit on our little card and right about there. So I know the bottom half of this is what would use the glue. And yeah, I'm priming the glue over here. Um, I'm going to put some glue on it. And you can use hot glue for this if you want to, but I find that this works just fine. And I put that glue on there. And then I'm going to stick it on that corner of my card. I'm going to turn the card over and stick it down. And look at my card and look and see, yep, that's about where I want it. And then it stands just like that. So this is what it looks like so far. Now, you can write your food name on this right here, but if you do, it's going to be kind of hard to read. So my suggestion is you get some white paper or white cardstock and we're going to write out what our food is and these are the colored staples if you haven't seen this there's a youtube short and there's also a video that we made these in so what i'm going to do with this little card is i'm going to stick it out here to the side like this and then i'm going to slide it right under there while that glue's still wet and leave those staples there because it adds character. And I'm going to stick it down right there. And then to kind of help this, I'm going to stick a little bit more of the Aileen's glue under here. If I can get it to come out. <laughs> and I'm going to stick it down. Because this is for the 4th of July, I'm going to use my blue pen. And I'm going to write what, the, what it is that we are making. I'm gonna make sure my pen stays out here. This one's kind of wonky. Doesn't quite work really good. Okay, let me show you a trick to writing straight on your papers. I take and get my ruler out and get all the stuff that's underneath it out from underneath it. And I don't make a line, but what I do is I write out what I'm gonna say. So we're gonna call this food pink. And when you write with that ruler, you let that pen come down and hit it every time and it'll um, go against this ruler and it will make your line straight. Pink, potato, salad, dressing, and that, that, that. And I, if you have a letter that you kind of messed up on, you can fix it. But see how that makes all your lines really straight? So now we've got our lines straight. My thing's trying to stick because I squished glue out. Okay, so now I got this blank part of the card. 
Dollar Tree had this sticker pack with all of these uh, in the planner section of all of these stickers that would go really good for the 4th of July. And I'm going to take and put one right here. I gotta make sure I don't cover up my words. I'll put one right there and then it's got a little star on here. I'm gonna pull that little star off of here. This was in a pack of 1500 and I'm gonna just take my little stickers and kind of dress that up there. I even got a grill on here. Let's see if this grill will fit. If it doesn't we just won't put it on there. And we're gonna take that little grill and stick it on there that'll look like too much we're not going to do that let's see what else we got on here uh have a barbecue that's what most people do on the fourth of july have a barbecue and we'll stick that on there and now we have a little place card to a little place card to sit with our food when we go to the table so let's make one more really quick We've got our other one that we made that didn't make it on the video because I forgot to press the record button. So we're going to take our red square and it is four by five and we're going to fold it in half. I'm going to fold it in half this way. Why did I flip that over? Uh, because my little corners from this being in my bag of cardstock scraps is a little bowed on this side so if i turn it inside that little bow won't be bothered by the thing by standing up because the bow will go towards the inside where if you put it on the outside it'll it'll tend to do this we don't want it to do that okay so we're going to take this one and we're going to take and put it down now charlene why are you going to all this trouble for a barbecue and again i'm going to take my glue put it on the back of this and the reason why i'm going to all this trouble is because after the barbecue after you have your family over after you do all of that you can take these and stick them in your junk journals for a memory of what you had that day okay so we got the little tag and it stands up perfectly just like that now we're going to take another piece of our cardstock and we want to cut it off yeah about three inches is good not i don't measure if you want to measure go ahead okay and i'm going to add my little staples up here to the corner to this side and this side and I know my little staples are already red because that's what color I colored them for y'all in the video. And I'm going to just take this and stick it up under there where I glued it in. And this time I'm not going to extend it past the card and that's okay. All right. And this time we're going to write that this is fire cracker. C R A C K E R Firecracker uh, let me let me have it. Firecracker uh dip. And we're gonna write dip really big because we want them to know that this is a dip, not something they need to put on their plate in a huge amount like you would potato salad or something like that so we're gonna put dip and now we're gonna take our little stars that we have on our sticker thing here if you don't have stars it's okay if you don't have stickers it's okay use your stamps and stamp on it let's stamp on one let me find a stamp over here let me get this box of stamps up here okay we gotta I love this place. Let's use that one. And let's stamp on it in blue. Because it's the 4th of July. And we're going to stamp on it and 
put I love this place and put another one up here at the top and then we could put a sticker on there if we wanted to well we already did it so we could leave that just like that or we can embellish it more with whatever we want but I think that's just fine and we're gonna just leave that just like that we are ready for the 4th of July and we have some little cards to stick in our junk journals afterwards so look forward to the next video where we use these in our junk journaling pages after the holidays okay and if you need to know where the staple is watch this video or this video and then if you need to know how we made these puzzle pieces watch this video and if you want to know how we made our washi tape or washi ruffles watch this video we'll look forward to seeing you on the next episode of the crafty art shack and we'll see you later bye ready to go there's a close-up did it close up for y'all there's that one and here's this one and we'll see you in a little bit no we won't we already recorded the video <laughs> are we still recording <laughs> let me turn that off because y'all <laughs> being sneaky in here watching my me get ready for the next video i got you you were trying to get a sneak peek on my next video, wasn't you? <laughs> no, not really. I forgot to turn the camera off. Y'all have a great day. Bye.